Hey guys, I'm here once again. So, one of the ways that I find inspiration for my messages is just the, the things that are happening in life. And things that are happening to me or around me in the given day that I might be making a video. Today is one of those days for sure. I'm, I'm just observing people. I'm just watching. I'm not even always interacting with people per se. Um, some days I really try to just observe and not talk too much and just see what happens. And it's interesting. So I was talking to you in an earlier video about, you know, people kind of racing through parking lots and just, you know, crazy stuff, especially in the parking lot that I'm in. It's very small. And everybody has the same goal here. They're all trying to get some food or things that they need to so they can eat. Uh, I stopped here to get a few things so I can take it home for dinner. Uh, but I observed something, you know, so I saw one person, big burly guy with a big beard, you know, and he's driving a dirty truck, you know, because he's he works uh, probably in construction or, or something of this nature and I saw him cut someone off just so he could get a certain parking spot and there was plenty of parking and I thought wow you know it's really I don't know what the the issue is but clearly they're in a hurry and you know I I uh, didn't see him in the store I think he was already finished before I went in but I, I got to be honest and say that if I would have seen him, I probably would have, like, given him plenty of room to get around because uh, I wouldn't want him to run me over because I'm slow. Uh, the interesting thing is not, not too long after I went into the store, there's another guy who looks very similar to the same guy. Big guy, you know, works with his hands probably, you know, does some hard manual labor, has a big beard wearing even a similar hat and uh, you know so and actually at that point I don't know whether it's the same guy or not so I'm I'm kinda hanging back a little bit as I'm waiting to go in the checkout line and you know he looks over and he nods at me he doesn't say anything but he nods affirmatively at me it's very common in Texas people will just look at you and they'll just nod at you it's like an acknowledgement but they may not speak to you but that's a way especially among cowboys and and you know people who do manual labor in Texas these are the kind of guys they're not gonna have long conversations with you and they may or may not say hello to you they may just give you this little nod and that's their way of saying that they acknowledge you and you acknowledge them so you know, he, he kind of nods at me and he gives me just a little bit of a smile. So I'm thinking, no, that's interesting. But I still don't know if it's the same guy I had seen before cut someone off. Turns out it wasn't a different guy. And the most interesting thing was, as I was walking to my car, he's coming back with his shopping cart. He's going to return his shopping cart. And I don't make eye contact with him in fact I'm looking down at the ground because I want to make sure I don't trip on anything but then as I'm getting in my car he calls out to me and he says is there any way I can help you and I turn and he smiles at me and I said oh no thank you I'm I'm fine I'll I'll be fine it was amazing very you know kind of refreshing and he goes and he gets in this giant truck you know dirty it's a different guy it's a different truck than the other guy but very similar you know you you I might put them both in front of you and you'd say maybe they're cousins maybe they're brothers very interesting very similar and yet very different at least from the behavior because when he got in his car and he or when his truck and he had a giant truck and he gets in his truck and he drives away very slowly and carefully and I watched him get on the road and he's you know he's driving with maybe some humility I don't know 
and the other guy was running around, zipping around for whatever reason, and maybe he had a good reason, you know, maybe somebody in his house is sick or and he has to get food or, or something for them. You know, I'm not I'm not saying that uh, one is better than the other. My point is they looked very similar and yet they were different. They, they, they were very different in many ways. Handled their situations differently because I don't know the other guy's situation either. And so my, my point to you is that opposites can look very similar <laughs> because in some ways these guys were opposites. And then also, of course, always to be patient with people to you know don't don't be quick to judge people negatively uh, be patient with them and it's hard that's another aspect of humility though is to be patient to take your time to slow down be a little bit more uh, careful about evaluating the situation because you may have two people who look the same but they're going to behave very differently just the same way you may have two people who go to the same shul and they look very similar maybe they're the same type of chassid or 